KSHY Shiny News. News so good, it's stupid. Hey, KSHY here. This is Keith Lightford. This is the last day of the tour. Holy shit. It's really hard to believe. It's been 20 shows. Actually, it's been 19 shows, but I'm calling it 20 because there was that one day where, you know, the shit was really hard. Uh, okay, so we're going to turn it over to who are we turn it to? We're going to turn it to Marty. We're going to go straight to Marty, and then we will be back on the East Coast. I'm right, but I'm except. Right here. I'm right here. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay, you're right there. I'm right here. Well, All right, there you go. You're, 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 yeah, you got, you got it. You got it. <laughs> and now the shiny news. August 5th, 2023, Denver, Colorado, the last day of the tour. Telluride was amazing, as usual. Club Red was smoking hot. But the real show started after Shiny Red's performance. Our intrepid reporter, Alice Spencer, is on the scene right now with first-hand details of this misadventure. Yeah, Such an cool. asshole. So done. Okay. Three, two, <laughs> one. Thank you, Marty. I'm here with you and your brother, Mickey. Gentlemen, we uh, employed the Freedom of Information Act and obtained information from the local authorities here in Telluride that a 911 call was made last night. Now, I'm wondering what you can tell us about that. Who would like to go first? Ah, uh, shucks. Mickey? Marty? Yes. Well, you know, we just wanted to ride on the gondola. Mm -hmm. And it, it closes at midnight. And we were good. 11.30, but we got on the wrong gondola. Oh. And then we came up and... And we asked the person, hey, which gondola should we get on? And they said, that one. And it went up the mountain. Practical and choker. It, and then it stopped. It, oh. it came back down and it stopped. We mm -hmm. were stuck. Stuck on the mountain. There's no way to get out. No way to get out. What did you do? We walked. We walked. How far did you walk, Nikki? Oh, first we walked a couple of kilometers. We were looking for the shell station. We were looking for the shell station. Yeah. yeah. As one would do. But we were encouraged to keep walking because it was going downhill. So had to get up. Which is we good until you're We had to get off the mountain. Yeah. yeah. We had to get off the mountain. <laughs> and we did. We we did. It was just sur survival. And we got Your survival on, skills. Ba basic in, survival. Right. We got right. down to yeah. Highway 145 and we took a right. Stupid! 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 Stupid news! <laughs> I don't know why we took a right, but it's you know the shell station might be to the right. You there. just felt it. Said, it tell you right this way, and then it said it was six point one miles to oh. tell you right. That's when I freaked out. I called the police. <laughs> I called the police. They said. There is no police. No, what, and I said, no I, said I said, what should I do? And they said, call 911. I called 911. Oh, sorry. 911, what's your emergency? My God, I almost died. No. I almost died. That was so scary. Thank you. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. I had a realization. When I called 911, I was trying to tell them where we were. I mean, we were out. There was nothing out there. Wait, are you telling me that the police were not at all sympathetic to your your not, situation? Not at all. As not a tourist all. in Telluride. Yeah. I mean, no, they were sympathetic. They were very nice. They oh, were they, were nice. they were nice. They were nice. Yeah. Yeah. But okay. Very, they, but they didn't do they didn't do shit to help us. That's but they true. were nice. They, they were very, they very were nice. nice, and they're not doing shit. Yes. <laughs> Well, that's important. If you're not doing shit, at least be nice. I don't know if it's that's important or for One reason, of the things I always... I think they fucked up, personally. It sounds like they fucked yeah. up. Nikki. Anyway, they I, I said, called, we'll take you down the mountain. I called 911 because I felt like our lives were in danger. And right as I was calling them, this car pulled up, and the door opened, and I said, oh, I think we've got a ride. And the girl in the car said, no, no. And, uh, and it was... 
Denise and her daughter, and they saved Denise. our lives. I believe no, we Denise, have Denise some... intervened and said, "That's the guy in the band, and his brother, <laughs> and his the guy with the brother, right? That, that guy." <laughs> Okay, we have breaking news. We were able to contact an eyewitness to this adventure. Her identity has been secured for her protection. Christ, I was only just after leaving the pub. And I'm driving down the street, and it's a quite a steep drop off, you know. And I'm driving down the street, and then I see these two fellas, and I'm like, what the fuck are they doing? And I look, and I think, must their car must have broken down. I don't know. But I pull over, and I say, oh, Jez, it says the, the person in the band. I don't know what mm -hmm. that instrument he was playing. Was it the banjo? I don't know. But that's his brother, and Jez is Christ to give him right, and that's what's happened. And that's um, my story. I'm sticking to it. But uh, what about the skunk? Wasn't there a skunk? No, that was earlier. I mean, oh, you left it out. It was a brief fantasy of being sprayed by a skunk and being. I have that fantasy as well, Mickey. And, and becoming a, <laughs> and becoming a, a, you know, that cast. We'll in talk India about that later. They, yeah. Yeah. No, of course. <laughs> Whenever that'll be part two. <laughs> well, you heard it here, Marty. Really enjoyed talking with you. And your brother Mickey. Always a pleasure. Signing off for K S H Y. That is a tongue twister, Keith. We, Good night. Oh, back to you, Marty. <laughs> Thanks, Marty. What a couple of numbskulls. I mean, walking down the side of a mountain in the middle of the night, uh, on the edge of a cliff, no one around, temperatures dropping to, you know, the high fifties. Uh, yeah. I mean, nobody, nobody in Telluride had ever seen or heard of anybody doing this. Uh, I just, you know, they should have called an Uber. And now, sports with Mark Craney. Anxiety. Oh, hello. Welcome to sports with Mark Craney. Well, we've got a lot to cover, so let's get right to it. It was a big day for the sport of hippie darts, or darchery, as it's sometimes called, at their World Cup Finals today. Three-time champion Mark Wilson was defending his title against up-and-comer Lucas Gusher. Now, after a few tense rounds, it all came down to two throws. The pressure was on, and Wilson blew his first chance. Missed the bullseye. Came down to one shot. Oh, my goodness. What a throw it was. Mr. Wilson, with the crowd anticipating his bated breath, threw a perfect dart Mwah! to win his third consecutive hippie dart championship. With that perfect shot, he cemented his legend as the greatest darchery thrower of all time. We spoke with Mark Wilson after his big win. Mr. Wilson, I have to ask, what was going through your mind when you pitched that last shot? I appreciate that question, Mr. Crane. It was a hot day down there at the Redwood Rambler. We're on that short range, little sure shot course. And I got that little tight hyzer in there just to make sure I went ahead of that boy. Now, we, as we both know, Lucas Gusher has blown up on the hippie dart scene. He's proven a worthy competitor. In fact, he was a favorite going into this final. Now, how did you keep your cool? and deliver another nail-biting win and take the young upstart down. Let me tell you, this Lucas Gusher, he may be a hot shot with that little Anheuser flip of his, but we know that all his popularity on them girls show up because he's a male stripper, and I had to show him as a country boy. We can get that little tight hyzer right down there and take a score of any alarm over there by that tree. Can't beat me. Well, there you have it, folks. Another nail-biting sports phenom, Mark Wilson, three-time hippie dart champion. Thank you for tuning in to KSHY Shiny News. News so good, it's stupid.